Seen Diane? Yeah, actually. She's just been confronting Tony about sleeping with Maxine. Tony? Now, there's a cannon I didn't think capable of firing. It was a lie. See, Kurt reported it to Diane. And seeing as you were the one trying to get Tony and Maxine together in the first place, I have the strangest feeling that you might have put him up to it. Run along to school, Verity. Make up some more stories. You just don't know when to stop, do you? Excuse me? You destroyed your own son. It's not enough, is it? Not only did you take Tony's wife, but now you want Diane to hate him as well. I'd watch your tone if I were you. You know she still has feelings for him, right? Yeah, Diane was boiling when she heard about Tony and Maxine. Diane knows which side her bread buttered on. And later today, when I propose to her, she'll have this. You took Mum's ring out of my room. You're not worthy of wearing it anymore. You are unhinged. First, the ridiculous hair dye and the clothes. I'm warning you, Verity. No matter how hard you try, you will never turn Diane into my mum. Your mother died because of you. She was carrying my baby. What? I should have saved her and our unborn child that I could be proud of. Instead, I rescued you, a pathetic, talentless failure of a daughter. You're lying. You said you didn't regret it. You... You said that I was your, your princess. I lied. Diane's my queen now. And later today, she will choose me as her king. Uh, well, I'm sorry if I'm a bit tetchy, Diane, but you're the one who just nearly ripped my caravan doors off in a jealous rage. <laughs> jealous? Oh. Me. You're not happy with Edward. Um, I am incredibly happy with Edward. Oh, so you didn't just throw a hissy fit at the thought of me and Maxine getting together, even though you've been cuddling up to my old man for months now. Oh, you know what? You are miles off. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, and you know it. I am in love with Edward Hutchinson. And I'm in love with you. And deep down, I think you love me too. Tell me I'm wrong. But getting my job and my pride back, it's all been part of the plan. First time in ages, I feel like me again. I want my wife back. Tony, it's too late. You know, I'm with Edwards and well, he... Worships the ground you walk on. As well as you're right, yeah, I know. Is that why you're saying all this now? Because somebody else actually wants me and values me. I'm saying it because it's the truth. My heart has been broken, taking care of you trying to resurrect our marriage and do me best to keep this family together. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. No, but you didn't, Tony. Not when it really mattered. Not when I needed you. You know, your father saved me. And you were the one that put us together. I thought it was for the best. I just wanted you to be happy. Diane, you're still my wife, the mother of my kids. Yeah. And thanks to Edward, he made me realise that I am so much more than that. Tony, I still have feelings for you, of course I do. But what we had is... It's broken. You're broken. Hey, look at me. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't see your Tony staring right back at you. I love you, Diane Hutchinson. I'd do anything to get you back. Just tell me you think about it. Okay. Okay, I'll think about it. So I want in a good mood. Oh, someone's having a good day. Pleased to hear it. Can I get you something? Uh, no, I, uh, I got a date with Diane shortly. I wanted to drop this in so I could treat her to a little recital before lunch. You do know that Diane's more Chumbawamba than Tchaikovsky. Maybe in another life. Anyway, this is a composition I've written especially for her. Mm. Sure she'd be thrilled. <laughs> yes, she will. Especially when I propose to her.
Afterwards. Hey. Why did you tell Diane that Tony slept with Maxine? Maxine? Kurt, tell me the truth. Does my dad have something to do with it? No. No, I, I knocked for Tony last night, and when he didn't answer, I must have got the right end of the stick. Hey, Verity, what's happened? I confronted my dad about it, and he completely lost it. He said that my mum was pregnant when she died in the plane crash, and that he wished it saved her and the baby instead of me. What? No, I just, hang on, I just need him. Oh. It's just a lot to take in. Dad always said he made the right call, but he lied. He hates me. Hey, hey, let's call it a day here. I'll get you some lunch. That man controlled me my whole life. The only reason that I never challenged him is that I looked up to him. All this time, I've been covering for him. But I'm not going to cover for him anymore. Look, let's not do anything rash. I'm not going to do anything rash. I'm going to destroy him. Where's Dad? Oh, he's uh, meeting me at the hutch. And don't ask what the occasion is because I haven't got a clue. I'll tell you what, I've been acting really weird all day. He's going to propose to you. <laughs> Sorry, what? He said he's going to make you his queen. <sighs> the same day that Tony tells me that he still loves me and wants me back. Tony is the man you need to be with. Please reject my dad's proposal. I oh, can't you do that? I mean, he's been wonderful to me. And he saved Tony's life. <laughs> he's a liar. He's a controlling psychopath that's obsessed with making you into my mother. Look, Diane, you have no idea what he's capable of. What are you talking about? I'm so sorry I didn't say anything before. He's been manipulating me in the same way he's manipulated you and Tony. That's why I turned a blind eye to his crimes. Crimes? Heresy, what's he done? He faked the operation. He invented the brain tumour to destroy Tony and have you to himself. 